I live in a 55 plus community in Central Florida. It is so convenient. Today, I went to the mechanic and they, they said it was going to take two hours. So the boss drove me back to my house and he'll pick me up later. Plus there's so many stores, there's so many banks, there's people my own age, there's a pool. There's nature, it's quiet, it's peaceful, there's birds and bunnies and frogs, and it, it's just very pleasant. But people, people don't treat me well. Um, they don't treat African Americans well either. And uh, anyone who's different, and of course I'm different, I've been harassed at the pool because I wear a modest 1930s style bathing suit. Um, but anyway, uh, they say I have too much clothes on. Get out of the pool or we'll call the sheriff. You just came here to wash your laundry. You put all your clothes on and jumped in the pool so you could, <laughs> so you could clean your clothes at the same time. <laughs> anyway. I should look at it as being funny. Um, so what do you do? What do you do when there's such attitudes in a place, but it's just so convenient and so comfortable and so economical? Now in South Florida, it's, wow, it's, it's, it's very cosmopolitan. I didn't have this trouble there. Over there, I was something special. You know, you walk down 8th Street and somebody yells out, Ay, mamita, mamita. You know, it's a compliment. But it's even more crowded down there now, even more expensive. You need like 350000 just to buy a very basic house. And then there's insurance for the flooding and... Um, there's spraying for the mosquitoes, and there's there's traffic problems. Uh, you can't go out in the morning because they're going to work. You can't go out at noontime because they're going to lunch. You can't go out in the afternoon because they're coming back from work. <laughs> so, so what does a person do? Uh, an old classmate of mine had a, a mother who was in an uh, adult congregate living facility, ACLF. And she was very alert and in pretty good health. And the people there were always complaining. And she said to me once, you know, the only thing that would make these people happy is if they were 10 years younger. And uh, I think she's right because you get older and you start thinking of friends and loved ones who have passed on already. And you think about what you used to look like. And... Um, Maybe you have money problems now. Maybe you have weird skin issues and health issues you didn't have. Um, but, you know, there must be something good about this age. Uh, I'm on Quora a lot, asking questions and also answering questions. And one question I put in was, are there any benefits to wrinkles? And most of my answers said no but I got a very good answer. And this guy said, wrinkles are good because can you imagine if my face still looked great and young and the rest of my body looks like what it looks like now? It, it would just be yucky. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say about the the changes in life and and I wanted to ask what are we supposed to do when your heart's somewhere else but you have to stay somewhere because of economics and because it's easier to survive there and you're not so sure how you would do uh, in a cosmopolitan city like uh, South Florida cities um, especially with the crime. Whenever I look at real estate online down there, almost every single house has bars on the windows. 
I don't need that here. There's people here that bother me and there's break-ins, but uh, I had lights put on the entire outside of the house, floodlights, so I wouldn't have that guy who trespasses, the one who's looking for mole hills and moles. And of course the dog is very alert, whatever he hears. But I'm interested in other people's opinions about living somewhere that's convenient instead of being where your heart is.